morning all hope everybody doing good today in this presentation i am going to explain about the how to solve the problems on mag coupling okay so hope this problem is visible to you guys this is my first problem on mag coupling so in this problem the given data okay the data given is the two inductors are connected in parallel so we are doing the problem on parallel coupling okay means either the two are parallel either are parallel opposing so the given data is the equivalent inductance when mutual inductance aids with self inductance means this is for parallel aiding is 6 milli henry and it is 2 milli henry when mutual inductance suppose with self inductance that is parallel opposing it is 2 milli henry if the ratio of self inductances that is l1 to l sorry l1 by l2 is 1 is to 3 and the mutual inductance between the coils is that is from l1 to l l1 to l2 and l2 to l1 the mutual inductance is m that is m12 and m21 is that is we represented with the m that is 4 milli henry find the self inductance of two coils our objective is to find out the l1 and l2 values okay so the given data what i said the cumulative equivalent inductance is 6 milli henry the differential equivalent inductance is 2 milli henry the ratio of self inductance is l1 to l3 is 1.3 and the m is 4 milli henry as we know that if the parallelly connected cumulative coils the formula is l equals to l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 minus 2m okay the difference in cumulative is in the place of minus 2m we will get only plus 2m this is only the difference per cumulative and the differential formulas okay so the given data is for a cumulative the equivalent is 6 i am substituting and the m value is 4 if i substitute all these values i am getting equation 1 and 2 okay so from this one the numerator for the equation 1 and the numerator for the equation 2 is same okay so i am equating the both the denominators that is 6 if i send this one into this i mean if i send denominator to this side if i send the same denominator to this side we will get the values of 2 into l1 l1 plus l2 plus 8 equals to 6 into l1 plus l2 minus 8 same okay. if i do these things We will get L1 plus L2 value as 16, and the given data we in the given data they gave there is L1 by L2 that is the ratio of self inductance is 1 by 3, so that I am writing L1 as 3 into L2. Okay, so if I substitute L1 value as 3 L2 in this equation, we will get 3 L2 plus L2 is equals to 16. From that L2 is equals to 4 milli henry. If I substitute L2 value in the L1 plus L2 equals to 16 equation. We will get L1 value as 12 milli henry. Okay. Hope you understood, guys. This is an another problem. Okay. So this is another problem of the given data is two coils of coefficient of coupling between the them are 0.6. That is, they gave the value of k. That is, k value is 0.6 and connected in series. So we are doing the problem on series aiding and series opposing. Okay. If the same direction and the opposite direction, the total inductance in the same direction, that is, series aiding is 1.5 Henry. What is the formula for a series aiding? L1 plus L2 plus 2m. The value is 1.5 Henry. If it is opposite direction, that is, L1 plus L2 minus 2m equals to 0.5 Henry. So, find the self inductance of two coils. So, in the given data, we have a series aiding. And the series opposing equivalent inductances, as I said, the formulas and the k value. As we know that k equals to m by root l1 and l2. Okay, so we know the k value and we know the m value. Okay, so so that we will easily find out the l1 and l2 values for this problem. Okay, the second problem is the two coils is having the self inductance of 4 milli henry and 7 milli henry. So we have a l1 and l2 values. And connected in parallel, we are doing the problem with the parallel connection. The mutual inductance of mutual inductance between them is five milli henry. That is, m value is five milli henry. Find the equivalent inductance in cumulative and differential connection. For a cumulative, what is the formula? L1 L1 L2 minus m square by L1 plus L2 minus 2m. For a cumulative, 
in the denominator l1 plus l2 minus 2m for a differential l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 plus 2m okay we know the all the values of l1 and l2 and m values if we substitute we'll get these values easily okay hope you understood guys thank you